Hi everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day. For today's message, I'm going to be looking at the Divine Feminine Energies, and if you would like a personal reading or Twin Flame Coaching, please check the description box below. We'll be with the first card, the purpose of life is to be happy. My beloved Divine Masculine, you deserve happiness, you deserve true love. Maybe you had trouble believing that in the past. But this is what we're here for. We're here to be happy. We're here to be in love. Oh, and look what we have here. We have the Ten of Cups. Cups is love and Ten is the best. So if you've had trouble believing that this... Happily ever after is for you and for me, then please stop doing that. Don't take yourself out of the picture. That's you and I in that picture. This is the destination. In this moment, the hard, hard work of fostering healthy, loving relationship culminates in a sense that all is right with the world. In addition, and looking from this vantage point, the future is glorious. We're sharing the same beautiful dream and are ready to take the next step together. The future may be bring challenges, but you know that together we can face anything. <clears throat> really enjoy this feeling. Imprint it on your heart. And it's safe to express how you feel. You can draw on this feeling for strength during hard times. You don't get any better than this. Romance will blossom soon into a happy long-term relationship. It also signifies a time when you and I can enjoy pleasures together. Overflowing happiness, love, romance, togetherness. There's nothing to worry about. Love, family, marriage and commitment. Abundance, harmony and happiness. Achievement and alignment. Contentment, home, hope, dreams, fulfillment, joy, peaceful union. Fun events that can lead to delightful surprises and happy times. You're creating a life that's aligned with your values. Yeah, you have nothing to worry about because you and I are on the same page. We have the same vision uh, of our future together and it's all coming up roses. There will be fireworks. We share an everlasting love and we are divine spouses de destined to be with one another. So I really feel this sense of wholeness, completion and alignment in all your relationships. And you're experiencing, well, we're coming into a place of experiencing an idyllic state of peace, harmony and love where dreams and wishes will have come true. Take a moment to step back and appreciate everything you've accomplished. You created a life of connection and bliss by following your heart and trusting your intuition. So I encourage you to keep following your heart and trust your intuition to lead you to opportunities aligned with your highest good. Your feelings and emotions will guide you. When something feels fantastic, do more of it. When something doesn't feel right, take do less of it. Allow your inner guidance to lead the way. Seek out opportunities that fulfill you and align with your personal values instead of following the path that others expect you to take. My heart is large enough to hold God, my divine partner, and my family. I create space to love and receive love in a continual flow of pure, unconditional love with all there is. Yeah, so any negative thoughts, just release them. Let them go. Let them pass. Let them leave. It's okay to feel them as they go because you're just creating more room for more love to rush in. So feel that healing wind right now and keep the faith because your faith will be tested over and over again. You will be given opportunity op um, after opportunity to choose love or not choose love. So keep choosing love in these places. Feel your feelings, choose love. Oh, 
Oh, wow. We have the Ten of Cups. And the Two of Cups. We have the Union card. You see, he's turning into a really nice message. Who could ask for anything more? It's all coming together. It's all unfolding. It's all falling into place. So this is where the faith comes in. Romantic choices, emotional healing, receptivity to love, receiving love, turned on attraction, union, yummy conversation. Love, the magnetic force, creates attraction which to, in which two hearts come together to create a special bond of oneness. Positive, negative, masculine, feminine energies intertwine in balance. Harmonious emotional energies give birth to a powerful force that can attract love, heal emotions or repel negativity. You can instigate romance by turning on your flirtatious charm and your sensitivity to your beloved's needs and feelings. Closeness of hearts is increasing and an uplifting of awareness of receptivity to each other's hopes, dreams and feelings. As you radiate qualities of love, new avenues of opportunity and personal growth become visible. Questions may arise concerning the direction of your emotions. Staying inwardly balanced quickens growth towards fulfilment. From this sense of place, you'll gain clarity about the decisions you need to make and find your path, even if you're uncertain about your romantic direction. Don't give in to pressure to make decisions until you are sure of what you want to do. A willingness to communicate openly creates an opportunity to heal old wounds and fix past mistakes. Don't uh, don't assume you know what the other's feelings or emotional needs are, but it's okay to ask in an unobtrusive way. Consider what you can give that I truly desire. I look at my connection with my divine partner from a higher perspective. Knowing that problems, complaints and conflicts are small in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, these little things are no big deal. They're... This isn't some test you have to pass to win my heart. Whatever comes up is okay. It's just showing you where you're at at this present moment in time and what you need to work on. So it's all okay. Face your fears with your divine partners. So it's okay to face down your fears. It's okay to go to the uncomfortable places in consciousness. It's okay to um, go to the deepest recesses of your heart and find what's there and shine the light of your self-love into these places. Yeah, maybe... Maybe this is one of your fears, the fear of not having enough, the fear of maybe not being enough. I have these fears as well because if they're in me, they're in you too. So don't let money or power issues right now distract you from enjoying the richness of your life stress can rise so do more than usual to ground yourself into peace you may feel like you don't have what you want right now but this is a rags to riches story you feel the relief in that you might not be seeing the rewards for your hard work but they're here but you um you might not be looking straight at them you might have 
fears about losing things, maybe material belongings. So just work, go, work through those fears, work through those feelings. They need to be dealt with. There may be physical change on the horizon. It may feel hard, but the challenge will be overcome. I am resilient and powerful. I acknowledge that I have, I have greater stamina and endurance than I ever imagined. I am strong. Yes, yeah, so please know that whatever challenge is facing you, whatever it looks like, it can be overcome. It can be surmounted. Whatever is in front of you will forge your persistence. Just keep working through it, even if, if it feels like you're working through the same thing. Many, many times. You're actually going deeper every time you work through it. Until it's completely, until that obstacle is completely cleared, until it's completely shifted. So just keep doing what you're doing because you can't fail as long as you don't quit. Okay, everyone, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.